Hey everyone, welcome to Character Education. I'm Andrew. And I'm Anaya. And we're so excited that you've chosen to hang out with us here at Character Education. Yeah, we've got a big day planned. Big, heavy stuff. Well, I mean, yeah, we, we'll try to keep it fun too. I mean, I mean, it's real, but, but it's fun. Yeah, because this is the place where kids and teachers come to learn big ideas. People, I hope you've kept those New Year's resolutions to get fit, because you're going to need it today. Oh boy, this month's big idea is a doozy. Okay, yeah, yeah, um, keep it fit is good, but uh, Anaya, ba based on um, uh, past experiences, I really want to make sure that you, that you accurately read the big idea definition. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, reading is so 2021. I listened to the audio version. Okay, that that sounds about right. Why don't you go ahead and introduce it then? Okay, why thank you, I will. Okay. Everyone, start a jump row on your legs. Okay. Three, two, one. Compassion. Compassion. Is caring enough to do. Is caring enough to do. Something about someone else's need. Something about someone else's need. Now, just the people who've run out of Christmas candy and are looking forward to Valentine's Day to meet that need. Compassion. Compassion is caring enough is caring enough to do something about someone else's need to do something about someone else's need You know, and I am glad that you're thinking ahead always So now that we're still on the same page for the month It's time to put our big idea to action. That's right. Well, well yeah, Hold on a second. What are you? What are you? Here, okay, um, do I put do I do I push it? Okay, I guess, I mean, I guess this music is okay. I guess waiting is compassionate. I mean, wait music's okay, I guess. So, uh, I don't know what Anaya's doing right now, but. I, I got something. I got, I got, hold on. You, I can just take this and move it. You need. Hold on. No, need, I got it. I got it. Okay. Here okay. we go. Um, what it, you have toilet paper? What it, Delivery! What, like, I, I don't understand why, why? What? It was at, I was at the Cosmore, okay? Okay. Getting supplies for my neighborhood block party. Uh-huh. And I had an epiphany. Okay, an epiphany. Yes. Okay. I thought about all the wonderful people here. In fact, I saw many of you guys at Cosmore Saturday morning, and I said to myself, there is a need that every single person at Character Education shares. Yeah. So I have taken it upon myself and I am caring enough to do something about that need. You're caring enough to do, okay, what is that? Is there new, is it like a toilet paper shortage? I don't, I'm not aware of one. This there is, was this back is in 2020, but. This a issue, okay. Andrew. Okay. I will be caring until every stall in this building is stocked and need is met. Okay, th this is adm admirable, but compassion is it's a little bit it's a little bit broader. I am ahead of you on this one, Andrew. Okay. I am caring for more than just one need. More than one. Yes. More than toilet paper. Yes. No. Nope. Okay. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This one is just for you. For me? Yes. What? What is it? It's pretty heavy. Yeah. I mean, it's. Can you hear that? Is it like? Is it rocks? Look, I really hope I've cared enough to meet your need. So do I open it? Yes. It's okay. It is a, an entire. It's an entire crate of breath mint. It's are you are you saying that my breath is is bad? No 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 not saying that. It's just saying, and I'm just caring. Through every character education, I am right up here in direct target range. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I, I feel like I feel like I should probably pop one of these at mm -hmm. one point. But yeah. you know, sometimes it's best to save that kind of compassion for like backstage. So now can. But can but I'm not done caring. Guys, I don't know. Ugh. Oh my! This is. This is. Public speaking 101, how not to be boring. 
This is for me? I paid you... so much for your knee. That book's got to be like seven pounds. I think it's more than seven pounds, okay? <laughs> it, you've carried so much for me. Yes, I would carry even more to meet your need, Andrew. Anaya, I realize that actual print is so 2021, like reading is so 2021, yeah. but would you please just, just read the big idea for me with your eyes? Right here, we'll put it on the screen. So just read it. Compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's name. Oh! <laughs> caring, uh, not carrying. Right, not, it's not carrying. You don't have to carry a lot of heavy stuff just to meet needs and show compassion. You know. Okay. Oh, okay. All that working out was for nothing. No, 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 no. A, a few weeks of working out is not, it's not wasted. I mean, weeks? Did, how, however long you've been getting ready for this. I lifted hand weights for seven minutes this morning between bites of frosted flakes. Okay, Tony the Tiger. Well, we do have a big need here at Character Education right, like right now. Um, for leading the hosting duties today? Yeah, it, it's your big chance to care. To actually I have care. so much caring. Also, so much toilet paper. Uh, how about we watch a video while I figure out what to do with all this? Uh, you know what? That sounds like a solid plan. What is up, everybody? <laughs> it's me, Caleb. I gotta admit, I am pretty comfy right here. <laughs> It would, it would take a whole lot to make me get up. <laughs> what about you? W what makes you care? What would make you actually move and do something? Maybe this? <laughs> when I see these, whoo, I definitely care. <laughs> and I totally care enough to do something when I see this, because these are just what I wanted. But what about when you see this? Do you care enough to do something? Or this? How about this? The truth is, you don't need a lot of stuff to help someone out. All you need is you. You could say, hey there, mind if I keep you company? Compassion is simply training your eyes to see when someone has a need and then training your hands and feet to do something about it. So I know you're ready for it now. Let's lean in all together. Say it with me, ready? Compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's need. One, one more time, let's run it back, come on. Compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's need. We will see you next month. <laughs> yeah? What? Is right? Huh? <laughs> Hi there, I'm MC Haggis, and this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Give him a sample, Seamus. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. This month, we're learning about compassion. Caring enough to do something about someone else's need, right? right. So, so, so here's the deal. Old Ben McGillicuddy's land is nearby, and me and Seamus found that a portion of his fence had been torn down, right, Seamus? Yes. Yeah, so, being good neighbors, we thought we'd take it upon ourselves to show compassion and rebuild it for old man McGillicutty. So, me and Seamus have spent the last couple of days rebuilding his vents, is that right? Hey. As a matter of fact, I think it's in better shape than it was before, wouldn't you say? Hey. Yeah! That's right. <clears throat> well, come to find out, old man McGillicutty and his animals we're stuck in his own field. You see, his tractor broke down and he needed to have it towed out from the spot where he had torn the fence down. You heard me. Old man McGillicutty tore his own fence down to get his tractor out of the field. Hey! Out! Yeah, oopsies is right. <laughs> Old man McGillicutty wanted the wall torn down so he could move his tractors and animals. So me and Seamus need to go back and tear down the portion of that fence we fixed, that beautiful, sturdy portion of the fence we fixed. I know, I know, okay. 
our hearts were in the right place, though. We're showing compassion and all, but we learned something else today, too. Just make sure you really know what someone needs before you show compassion, hey? Right. <laughs> Let's rap about it. Kick it! Have you heard the latest fashion, the hardest hearts? It's completely smashing. It shows other people that they're your passion. So care enough to do something about someone else's need, and that's compassion. Word. Hey, here's a glass half full look at it. After we tear down the fence, we get to build it back up again. Oh! I'm not toying with your emotions. I wouldn't do that to you because I like to show compassion to you. What? Ding! See what I did there? I said compassion and then. The wink gives it away that we're talking about compassion. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show. This is when I get to come out here and share with you more about the big idea this month, which is compassion. Woo! All right, let's go, let's go. Ready? Okay, let's do it. Woo! And this is my co host, Sam. And are you finished? Oh! I'm just getting started. This is the big day. Let's go. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, of course, it's a big day, but I think we need to take it seriously. We have a limited amount of time with all these kids, and we need to make it all count. Okay, listen, we are going to make it count, right? Okay, so let's go. Everybody repeat after me. Everybody, let's go. Okay, repeat after me. R-E-D. R-E-D. H-O-T. H-O-T? What do we got? <laughs> What do we got? We got a lot! We got a team! A team That's of red hot! Yeah! Let's go! Woo! Right. Yes! Sam, Sam, that's that's great. That's really great. But this isn't a game. We're here for a reason. And I'll actually I'll need a little help here. You need help. Yes, I need to know that you're not just jumping around here. I, I need to know that you're actually on my side. Okay. We're all on your side, aren't we, guys? Yes, we are. Say it after me. One, two, three. Who are we for? Go Tucker! Woo! I mean, okay, I do appreciate that. I really do from all of you, but I feel like, Sam, I feel like you don't understand what I really need. Maybe we can start with the big idea. Yes, the big idea! Why, why don't I take this one? Take it! All right, everyone, start drum rolling your legs and say it with me in three, two, one. Compassion. Compassion. Is caring enough to do something. Is caring enough to do something. About someone else's needs. About someone else's needs. Woo! Let's go, baby! Yeah! Woo! 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 See, I, I am loving your energy here. Yeah! Today. Yeah, that's the energy we need. Yeah, that's good stuff. But there's a lot we need to talk about today, and I'm not sure all this yelling will help. What do you mean you're not sure all this yelling will? No, I'm not. But can I ask you a question? <sighs> yes, okay. Ask away. Woo! Why are you doing all the cheerleading? Is it something to do with the big idea? Uh, no, actually. It's about, like, you know, big game day. Big game day. Yeah, you know the the word we can't really say because of copyright infringement, but everybody knows the big game day this month, the big one. Oh, uh, that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, that that is true. That is happening this month, but that's not why we're here, Sam. Can I ask you another question though? Yeah, sure. What else you want to know? Um, so can we stop dancing around the big idea and start actually talking about it? Uh, okay, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, okay good deal. So, well, um, will you help me actually think through compassion? Sounds good. Let's do it. I'm excited. Okay, great. So, let's remind ourselves of what compassion is. Okay. Repeat after me. Compassion. Compassion. Is caring enough to do something. Is caring enough to do something. About someone else's need. About someone else's need. Okay, yeah. Okay. I realized this probably was not giving you everything you needed 
earlier when I was doing the cheers. I was like, excited for you, but I guess, nah, I guess yeah, I wasn't I mean, doing everything. Yeah, that's true, you're right. But you know what? You cared enough about me to change what you were doing and actually help me. That's a step in the right direction of compassion. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks for showing me that, by the way. Uh, but what else, what else can we do about yeah. compassion? So I was thinking we could talk about different ways we see compassion every day so we too can show compassion. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that. I like that. Great, so I'm going to give you some scenarios, and you're going to tell me how you or someone else could show compassion. Okay. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, perfect. Uh, here is the first one, Sam, okay? And everyone watching, you're leaving the grocery store with mm -hmm. your buggy full of your own groceries mm -hmm. that you're getting ready to put away in your car. Yes, yeah, When you see an old lady, an elderly lady, struggling to put her groceries away in her car. So okay. how could you show compassion? Well, I mean, naturally, I'd want to, like, just put my stuff and go, but I guess if I'm showing compassion, I could go over and help her push her buggy and put her stuff away first. Yeah, and that's a great answer, Sam. Okay. Okay, so now, scenario number two. Gotcha. You're a student who is really good at math. I mean, I, mean, I was really good at math, too. So, but there's a friend in your class that's really having a hard time with math, and there's this big test coming up, and you're, you're feeling very good about it. But not only that, you're done with all the classwork, and your teacher, teacher has given you permission to have free time for the rest of class. Yes. How could you show compassion? Oh man, I would just, I, I could sit back, I could doodle, I could play on games on the computer, or do other homework. But I think if I'm showing compassion, I could probably go help that friend with math. Since I know what I'm doing, maybe I could help them out with that as well. <laughs> Wow, Sam, I'm really proud of you for thinking through that. Yeah. Um, you pointed out all the things you could spend your time doing that would benefit you, but you also pointed out how you could help someone in need. Sometimes showing compassion will mean you won't give or you give up what you want to do uh, to show someone that you care. Yeah. So let's go over our last scenario. Okay. This one's going to be a little tougher, I think, okay. but let's see. It's recess time. How can you show compassion? That's it? That's the scenario? That's it. How can you show compassion? Oh, man. It's just recess? Well, let me think. Okay, I've got, I've got a few ideas, okay? Awesome. Let's hear them. Okay, so there's a kid in my class that's always playing or sitting mm -hmm. by himself alone. I think maybe I could go ask him if there's anything he wanted to play and, and, or, or maybe something he wanted to talk about or whatever and, and keep him company instead of letting him be alone on the playground. Sam, that's, that's awesome. That's really good. Oh, I, I did have another idea. So I know teachers work really hard um, and mm -hmm. they get ready to teach us and all of that and they really do care about us a lot. And um, so maybe I could ask our teachers if there's anything that, that I could do to help her during recess uh, for preparing anything or helping around the class. Sam, I'm super proud of you. These are some great ways you can show compassion. And thank you for caring enough to help me teach these. Ah, uh, yes, Y-E-S, yes, yes, yes. You're the best! <laughs> Woo! Okay, I, I don't know about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get Sam out of here before all the cheering starts back up, okay, Sam? Let's all go. right, B-Y-E, no, bye! Hey, kids, I'm Lawson, and using my laser vision goggles, my extremely extreme laser vision goggles. Pew, 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 pew. I can tell that you need to be entertained. And I'm here to do something about it. In fact, I've got this brilliant story from my cousin Jeff's friend, Jed. Jed is a super ultra athlete. He can run the fastest mile in school and he can dribble a basketball blindfolded and he can do a triple backflip. In fact, Jed can run the fastest mile in school while dribbling a basketball blindfolded and doing a triple backflip. Jed is used to winning all the time. When he's team captain in PE class, Jed picks to win. When they play kickball, Jed can choose Sarah who kicks the ball really hard all the way to the moon or Jed can pick Dwight. So Jed says, I pick Sarah. And when they do an egg balancing relay, Jed can choose Rob, who's a master of balance, or Jed can pick Dwight. 
So Jed says, I pick Rob. And when they play basketball in PE, Jed can pick Kira, who dunks the ball every time. Or Jed can choose Dwight. So Jed suddenly realizes that Kira gets picked for lots of things, but no one ever gives Dwight a chance. So he says, hmm, I pick Dwight. And then Jed and Dwight high five. And even though their team loses, they actually have fun. And Dwight even teaches Jed some awesome new skills. And then everyone celebrates excellently. Excellent. E it's funny. So kids, never start an egg fight at school, but do always remember that compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's need. Ooh. Granny shot, watch this. Maybe not. <laughs> See you guys next time. Triple backflip. What? Yes. Oh. What is up, everybody? My name is Keith, and it is so good to be with you here today. One thing that I've learned in my life, that it's easy to hear something, but it's a lot harder to take what you've heard and apply it to your life. Today, we're hearing all about the big idea, compassion. Let's go over it again together. Repeat after me. Compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's need. That's right, man, you guys are so awesome. But what does that mean for you? How can you show compassion in your life? You see, we are all different. We all have different opportunities to show compassion. We all have different people in our lives. Like right now, some of you, you're watching this in a classroom. Some of you, you're watching this at home. Some of you, you're watching this with other people. And some of you, you're watching this alone. So here's what I want you to do. When I say pause the video, I want you to take some time to think about those people in your life who have needs. What needs do your friends have? What needs do parents and family have? What needs do your teachers have? And how can you show them that you see their needs and that you care? If you're in a group or a classroom, I want you guys to brainstorm together. If you're watching by yourself, that's okay too. You can brainstorm by writing some ideas down on a notepad. We can all be compassionate. And so I want to challenge you to think hard about this and don't stop there. I want you to actually do it. Show compassion. Are you ready? Go ahead, pause the video and start it back when you're ready. Valentine's Day, I got a lot of cards from school. Then when I got home, Dad was on the phone trying to order takeout. Valentine's Day is Mom and Dad's anniversary, and he was really ordering from a place that puts chicken in a bucket. I told him to leave it to me. He really needed my help in the romance department. We made a plan for dinner where I would be their server. The table looked great. I knew mom would love it. While dad worked on his card, I made my special Italian dinner. Dad even wore a suit. Mom said it was super romantic. Dad said instead of leaving a tip, we should all go out for some dessert. And I, I got my breath mint, no worries. As we've seen today, compassion is an amazing, big idea that we can live out. It starts pretty small with looking around you and paying attention, simply seeing needs of other people. And, and once you see the need, big or small, you can do something about it. So that's what I want you to do this week. Start by opening your eyes. That's right. Thank you for helping me think through compassion today. Absolutely. Let's say the big idea together one more time, but this time, let's ask Anaya to actually say it the right way and lead us through it. Would you do that for us? I'd love to. Repeat after me. Compassion. Compassion. Is caring enough to do something. Is caring enough to do something. About someone else's need. About someone else's need. Great job, Anaya. We'll see you all again next time. Until then, 
Practice compassion as much as you can. See you later. Bye. Sometimes I feel a little helpless Like what I have won't be enough I may not have it